Well, it has been a while since we checked in on MyPillow CEO, Mike Lindell. And if you've been following this saga, then you know what I'm about to say. And you know it's going to be absurd, which is that Mike Lindell held another event where he supposedly was going to reveal the evidence that our elections are being stolen. Now, before I jump into some clips from this, the stuff of nightmares, um, and honestly sad, it is this reoccurring cycle, but I also think that he's an adult and the people around him are adults and so they should be judged and held accountable for the dishonesty being spewed. But before getting into that, just if you're not familiar, there's this guy named Mike Lindell and he was running a company called MyPillow. It's a pillow company and some other stuff as well. And then after the 2020 election, Mike Lindell got obsessed with Trump's election lies and wanting to prove them. And since then, he's been promising that either at the next event he's holding or that he already did or just around the corner the elections are going to be proven to be illegitimate and often he would promise that donald trump would be ushered back into the white house as the rightful president because of the 2020 election fraud his lies about our elections the 2020 election in particular have led him to being sued by uh, voting machine companies similar to how fox news did we'll get to his dire financial situation but essentially mike lindell has been running his life into the ground financially and otherwise serving these election lies and has been unable obviously to find the evidence he so uh so aggressively wants to find and he keeps holding events where he says no this is the time where we're revealing the evidence it's very strange and here's a clip from the latest example mike why don't we get a short video we want to play this you're gonna you're gonna help narrate it Yes, and uh, this is Clay Bree. He's. We're going to show this video. This is stuff that the Supreme Court's going to see that we just that was discovered that was added to the case. So Clay's going to, as we watch this, he'll stop and he will explain. All right. So while this starts up, this is just a very academic demonstration of it. What I will tell you is, it's using a basic tool that's called Kali Linux. Every everybody in the security field knows about it. There are are about a hundred and something ways that you could do this attack. It's not this way. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get the live disk that you need, which is Kali Linux. It's going to boot up. And we put the, the wording in here so that way when it's posted, it'll be easy to understand. And two, with the disclaimers, it keeps everybody out of jail. So this is... Yeah, so these events often go the same way. And I'll show another clip in just a second from this one but at past ones like his big cyber symposium you see these presentations of sometimes data or what that guy was presenting that are supposed to come off as official so the crowd goes i don't know sound pretty official to me and the conclusion was election stolen trump's the guy and uh maga never loses and then anytime these presentations are actually scrutinized, you understand them to be ridiculous. So in this case, the premise was strange because he's supposed to be proving that widespread fraud did happen, right? But then he's just giving a hypothetical of how fraud could be engaged in. But also I'm sure if actual experts took a look at his work on the hypothetical, that would also be revealed to be silly. And a good example of this is at past symposiums uh past events like this one mike lindell would be scrolling a bunch of data on screen and so it looked like a bunch of code numbers wow look at that and he would assert that this proves the election was stolen and we want to lie about that look at all those numbers on screen it's data that's evidence baby and one time mike lindell over two years ago to give you a sense of how long this has been going on was confronted about this data that he would send around saying that it was proof of uh, widespread voter fraud in the 2020 election and this was on cnn it didn't go well and as further proof he sent cnn a preview six different screenshots you sent us this on friday yeah what is this that's just one piece of 1.2 billion lines of data from the election 
Okay, there's within that will be timestamps of when, of when it happened. There'll be flips in there. So we sent this to our own experts. Mm -hmm. I'm going to really quickly pause your viewing of this video to ask you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Just click that subscribe button plus the like button as well and the alert bell so you get notifications. Back to it. He said that, that it doesn't show any specific actions of any kind, election related or not. And it's proof of, of nothing. Okay, so he said that's nothing, huh? Well, he's wrong. Then you didn't hire a cyber expert. We didn't consult just one cyber expert. We consulted nine top election security experts who told us Lindell's screenshots were extremely rudimentary metadata and completely ridiculous. Yeah, and then you might remember that Mike Lindell said his data was so powerful, so convincing that regardless of the mess that that CNN interview moment was, and those CNN fact checkers and experts are probably just deep state operatives. He said, if you, anyone who comes to the symposium or hears about it, if you want to prove that this data isn't proof of 2020 election fraud, then do it and I'll pay you $5 million. And then someone proved that not only was this not proof of election fraud, the data he was showing that again looked so professional and so serious up on screen wasn't even from the 2020 election. It wasn't even data from the 2020 election. And so then Mike Lindell was ordered to pay this individual $5 million and he's been resisting, but pretty crazy stuff. And here's another moment from this event where Steve Bannon asks a question that you wouldn't expect him to ask. So they're up here, just please, the guys, no, seriously, Ricker, uh, Bill Gates, not the Bill Gates of the COVID, but Bill Gates of Maricopa County, hasn't over and over and over again, those guys have been challenged. And have we been, I mean, I realize you got new evidence, but haven't we been over this like 20 times? Is, and how come it hasn't been exposed? And why is no one rallying to our cause besides the war room and the war room posse? So this is the first time that That's we have exposed question, right? any of this. It's a fair question. Okay. That's the first time we exposed any of this, he says. Then what the hmm were all of those other events for, Mike? I got my cyber symposium badge so I could go to the cyber symposium so I could find out that the election was stolen. Now you're saying years later, this is the event where it's actually being revealed. Mike, I believed in you. <laughs> it's crazy. And my question is, we'll get to how Mike Lindell's life is being run to the ground. But if you're a follower, what are you doing? Why are you going to one of these events? Apparently, they're selling tickets to these things and branding them as the big bombshell event where the evidence is going to be revealed that they're going to throw at the Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court's going to go, what are we doing? We're so sorry, Biden. Get out of there. And then you hear about a, in another event, another month, and that one's going to be the real one where all the evidence is revealed. That's not how it works. If they actually had the evidence, they would just present it and you would see some outcome, some result from the fact that they have this overwhelming, undeniable evidence. But somehow Mike Lindell supporters, are there Mike Lindell supporters? Or Steve Bannon posse members just keep on showing up. And the fact that Steve Bannon even has to ask the question, listen, we're here for it. We love it. But we're a little confused as to why nothing's happening. <laughs> and we keep telling our followers that something's going to happen and then it doesn't. And I'm just thinking maybe time 10 will alienate a few people. And he doesn't want that for the War Room Podcast Posse. Very absurd. And to give you a sense of this absurdity, here's a clip from 2021, May of 2021, of Mike Lindell saying, five to six weeks, baby. The cows are out of the barn. It's everywhere. Everybody knows that this, uh, now it's just getting to, getting everything to fruition here. And uh, by the time these states are just going to help what we already have, what's going to go to the Supreme Court in five to six weeks, which, uh, as, as you know, I've been putting it out there, putting it out there, putting it out there. But all of these states are just going to be complete validation of what we already know. And um, so I've said before that you have two categories of MAGA leaders. You got your grifters. You got your true believers. Both need to be judged and need to be rejected and held accountable. But they're different in how you judge them. So your grifters, you have like your Carrie Lakes. 
She knows this is nonsense. But then you have your Mike Lindell, who's funding the Carrie Lake case. So Carrie Lake gets to go out and be a Senate candidate and get a lot of MAGA donations by saying that she's challenging her last election because we're going to reveal the fraud. And she actually has court cases that keep getting slapped down. Her lawyers being sanctioned because they're so frivolous, but it's Mike Lindell funding them or Carrie Lake's donors funding them. them. And so then she's getting all the benefit without the risk or damage. Whereas Mike Lindell is actually the one digging into his own pocket to fund all of these challenges, to fund all these court cases. He's the one being sued for defamation by these voting machine companies. And so surely he has to be a true believer, right? And that's a sad story. He should still be held accountable. I think he should have been sued for defamation. He's an adult and thus should be judged accordingly. But the fact that this, for example, is reporting about him. Newsweek says Mike Lindell faces potential court hearing over dire financial situation. Mike Lindell may face a court hearing over his ability to pay legal costs to voting machine company Smartmatic. So because of these defamation cases on top of his My Pillow company issues, because of his constant election lies and election challenges, his personal financial situation, it's a disaster. And that's all because he wants to serve the dear leader Donald Trump that he has this weird obsession with. And that is a sad story, again, that doesn't justify your lies, but uh, it definitely is unfortunate. I'll leave it there. Let me know what you thought of all that in the comments.